The multimedia principle is arguably the foundation of the cognitive theory of multimedia learning. At a basic level, this principle suggests that people learn better from words and pictures than from words alone. In this case, words can be in the form of on-screen text or audio, and pictures can be in the form of static images or motion images such as videos or animations. For designers of e-learning, this would suggest finding ways to incorporate both visual and verbal messages in meaningful ways into e-learning lessons. As you'll recall, this does not suggest adding text and images that do not support the learning process. That would violate the coherence principle. Instead, designers should first determine their message and then identify specific strategies that use both visual and verbal messages to best explain that message to the learner. For example, if your instructional goal is to describe a process or procedure, you may want to provide a description, but also include a visual representation or advanced organizer. In this example, I'm displaying some text about the cognitive theory of multimedia learning. The learner could read this information, however, by adding a visual diagram that illustrates the process being described in the text, the designer can take advantage of the multimedia learning principle and promote generative connections between the learner's new and prior knowledge.